Brianna, some state senators are fighting to give New Jersey small businesses a big infusion of cash. A bipartisan bill has been introduced that would provide $300 million in grants and loans for businesses. Two of the sponsors, Senators Bingo Pal and Declan O'Scanlan, say the state can't afford not to act. And small businesses are already failing. I have small businesses around my district that are, if not having shut down in recent months, are on the verge of it. They need help. If we let them fail, it'll be years before our economy can get back up to scale. Uh, if we save them, uh, we will save the livelihoods of the people that, that uh, own these businesses. We will save tens of thousands of jobs. Our, our economy could come roaring back. Lawmakers want to use federal stimulus money to help pay for the initiative. Now, as you might imagine, the business community is all in. But Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Tom Bracken would like to see the bill increase to $400 million. We're better to overkill this than underkill it, which means that if, if $300 million is, is, is the right number and we offer $400 million and that goes unused, that's great. We've accommodated the need. Bracken, a member of the NJTV Board of Trustees, says there's a lot of businesses which don't have enough capital to get through the next few months. Some New Jersey residents are facing higher utility bills come June. Our Tom Johnson says new rates were set yesterday by the State Board of Public Utilities. We have four electric utilities. Um, two went down a tiny bit and two went up. The most was by public service, electric and gas. PSC and G bills will rise on average by $3.65. And Atlantic City Electric customers will pay 29 cents more a month. JCP&L and Rockland Electric customers will end up paying less. You can learn more about just how these rates are set by reading Tom's story on njspotlightnews.org. The state labor department says most of the 75,000 unemployed workers who were waiting to receive payments on their lapsed claims received their funds this week. However, there are still some waiting for their claims to be paid. In the latest week, there was an increase in the number of residents who had to go on unemployment for the first time with just over 16,000 filing new claims. Now, here's a look at the trading day on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapler, and those are your top business stories.